Hi, my name is Reza, and today I, along with a few others, will be presenting the notational analysis on one super series kickboxing. First of all, notational analysis is the identification and analysis of critical patterns and events in the performance that lead to a successful outcome. The information used for notational analysis is gathered by observing and notating numerous events. An analyst can identify strengths and weaknesses and provide these results to coaches who then use them to adapt training sessions or share accurate feedback. So the event that has been analyzed was a kickboxing match between Semi Sana and Yot Sanklai IWFA Tax in one championship and the Dragon on May 17, 2019 held in Singapore Indoor Stadium. Semisana earned an unanimous decision victory over Yot Sanklai IWFA Tax. Sana's confidence was on full display from the opening bell, landing early and often before he dropped the Muay Thai legend late in the opening round. Though Yot came storming back with the combinations of his own in the second round, Sana was able to control the game. In the final round, an exchange between these fighters have earned Sana a deserving unanimous decision victory to advance to the one featherweight kickboxing Grand Prix semi-finals. So the fighters. The first athlete is a three-time Muay Thai and kickboxing world champion, Semi Sana, the winner from France, is armed with exceptional height, reach, and punching power for his weight class. The second one, multiple Muay Thai world champion, Yot Sanklai Awefe is from Thailand. Over the course of his career, Yot Sanklai has won close to 200 matches and notorious with his sledgehammer left kick. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, for the objective of the study is to analyze performance indicator between Semi Sana and Yot Sanklai Ibe Sertek in one championship into the Dragon competition based on the performance indicator that has been selected. Okay, uh, this is the 10 performance indicator. For the first one, successful kick. For the second one, uh, block kick. Third, successful knee. Fourth, miss knee. Fifth, attack combination. Sixth, counter attack. Seven, successful uppercut. Eight, block uppercut. Nine, tip. And for the last one is low kick. Okay, uh, successful kick. Successful kick is when the fighter performs the kick attack without any block by the opponent. Inside leg kick from the Frenchman. My guard on center as well. Successful kick is uh, when the feet land to the upper body of the opponent. A kick is a physical strike using the leg. For the second one, block kick. When the opponent block themselves from fighter attack. Arena in this means uh, when the uh, fighter kick the opponent but uh, opponent uh, tend to uh, shield the fighter block. Okay. Uh, basically the uh, most technique uh, for block use is 45 degree block. End up in knee or elbow striking range. This is a great entry technique to counter off a strike. Okay, uh, next we will go to successful knee. Successful knee is when the fighter perform the knee attack without any block by the opponent. Uh, so the fighter strike with knee, either with the kneecap or the surrounding area. For the fourth one is miss knee. Miss knee when the fighter perform the knee attack, but the opponent successful to avoid from get hitting. For the fifth is attack combination. Combination of strike perform in rapid uh, succession. If the combination uh, includes only punch, that is is called a punching combination. 
and if the combination if only include a kick it is called a kicking combination for the six is a uh, counter attack it means uh, immediately follows an attack launched by an opponent the will advance the face trap or rescue off the semi final so uh it exploit the opponent grid in an opponent guard when when the fighter uh be attacked by the opponent and then suddenly the fighter counter attack the opponent by punching or anything uh attacking for the seven is successful uppercut is when the fighter perform the uppercut attack without any block by the opponent. Okay, uh, uppercut is a punch that travel along a vertical line at the opponent chains or solar places. It is a long with cross, uh, one of the two main punch that count in the statistic as power punches. For uh, number 8, block uppercut is when the opponent block themselves from fighter uppercut attack. It means uh, when the fighter uh, want to uppercut but the opponent uh, successful to block the uppercut. For the 9 is tip. The tip is a long range stepping kick used to do damage and also keep your opponent at bay. So, uh, it's me to perform a kick co correctly with the front leg or the fastest and the common variation. The leg must be lift almost straight with a slightly bend at the knee, pointing the sole of foot towards the opponent. Okay, for the last one is low kick. Low kicks is uh, executed either from lead or rear legs at the outer tight of an opponent. This means uh, the low kick is a kick in uh, which the attacker use uh, his or her leg uh, to strike the opponent lower body which is uh, tight or cuff with the shin bone or foot. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. The first part of the notational analysis, a scatter diagram was drawn for each round with performance indicator of attacking combinations marked as X were plotted in the diagram. This is to show significant areas that the winner of this match, Semisana, tend to attack his opponent with multiple striking combinations. In the first round, left hand nice and tight to Yod's face, also keeps him in range. He's real tight to the left hand of Yod. Pa said that every time he can pull against Yod, it's just watching. Both fighters started with a slow pace where they threw single strikes to reach each other's pattern of striking. The first combinations was successfully executed by Sana in the center of the ring, where he then landed a second one at the same area. A total of five combinations were thrown by Sana in the first round scattered around the ring. Not much can be seen in the first round. The diagrams are attached in the slide. Later in the second round, Stand there and trade with God and he's doing just that. He's Both fighters started to fight aggressively with Sana throwing a total of 13 combinations throughout the round to keep up with your storming strikes. As seen in the diagram, 10 of the combinations were executed consistently in the center of the ring, while two of them were landed at the ringside near to the rope. Sana tend to attack his opponent at the middle area where he collected many points in the second round. In the final round, you can see Sana is trying to Sana successfully landed 19 clean combinations, with 9 of them focused in the ring center and 4 continuous high and low combinations, 
at the top rope side and down left corner respectively. Two single combinations were also aced at the top left corner and left rope side. Sana tend to throw continuous combinations where he landed an unreplied strike. All continuous shots were landed when Yot stood still without countering to Sana's attack. From all the three rounds, it can be said that Sana was comfortable to attack his opponent at the center of the ring, where most of his vicious combinations were landed. He also tend to continue throwing combinations whenever his first combo is left unreplied, and most of it happened at the corners, and also rope side where his opponent might have hurt. Okay, next, we move to frequency table uh, for performance indicator in percentage. As you can see, there's 10 performance indicator between Semi Sana and Yot Sang Klai. Uh, total of number percentage in three rounds. Now look at this, Sami Sana. Oh, look at that. It was the kicks. That's what happened. It caught him right on the chin with that beautiful red high kick. And you can see he never quite got over it. And then Sana lands that big hook. Sammy Sana just got a 10 8, Michael Chevello. How do you feel about that? Clean knockdown for Sammy Sana. It was a beauty. Have a look at this. Lands that right hand perfectly. Backs up Yodson Clay here. Yodson Clay wide open. And it was just timing from Sammy Sana. I don't believe Yotsun Clay's heard from it, but it was a knockdown nonetheless. Sami Sana will be oozing out of every pore with confidence now, and Yotsun Clay needs to reset and reset in a hurry. How can he not be hurt from it? He fell twice. He got up and then he fell back down. It has to be hurt. No. Yeah, I don't believe he, he's hurt. I don't believe there's any lasting a... damage from that. Shot. Look at that. Good covers up. Big gloves are going to help that. Sana says, all right, my turn. You go, I go. You go, I go. And Sana just put together a five-piece combination right there and adds two more with an extra drink. But then Yon says, all right, my turn. You got me. I'm going to get you. That uppercut, that's doing the dirty work. Look at that. He goes back to it. Oh, you starting to see the eyes wobble and toe to toe. You could have tied these two together because there was no movement just standing in front of him. Look at that. Sucking on the heel of the foot there from Sammy Sana. But then Sana still comes back. Look how he takes it on the arm, tries to parry it away, and then just comes straight down the middle with a huge right hand from Sammy Sana. Misha, we are absolutely breathless. So, first of all, I will explain about you the successful kick from the table. You can see Semi Sana has 56.3% more successful kicks than Yot Sanklai with 40, only 43.7% successful kicks. This showed that Semi Sana attempt a more successful kick due to his height that was higher than Yot Sanklai. Next, we move to block kick, but unfortunately, Semi Sana and Yot Sanklai had the same number of block kicks. The reason is these two player is a good um, kickboxing player and it's a tight match. So moving on to successful knee, Semi Sana has a remarkable remarkable 60% of successful knee when Yot Sanklai with only 36% successful knee. This showed that again Height matter given given advantage more to Semi Sana to attempt more in successful knee than Yot Sang Klai. Next, Miss Knee, even with a high successful knee from Semi Sana, Yot Sang Klai managed to block 84% knee attack from Semi Sana. This shown Semi Sana have many attempt with using his knee, and Yot Sang Klai has a good defense strategies. So. In attack combination, Seni Sana had 55%, 55.2% and Yot Sangkla have 44.8%. The reason is due to the physical and territorial uh, pressure by Seni Sana that combine punches and kicking while Yot Sangkla only using combo punches. So, this giving uh, Seni Sana more attack combination that successful. So, um, in counter-attack, 
you can see Semi Sana owns your Yot Sanglai with 62.5% over 37.5% because of many mistake and miss many mistake miss block attempts that made by Yot Sanglai that have been used as good and as well as possible by Semi Sana to counter back. So in this combat spot, if you have mistake or block, uh, the if you have a good opportunity and you can counter it back. So uh, next we move to Sasipur Apekat. Sasipur Apekat also Semi Sana is more than Yot Sanglai with sixty percent over forty percent, because Semi Sana use it while in the combo, uh, punches and kicking. Uh, that breaks your, your Sanklai defense and hits him directly most of his uppercut. But in the block uppercut, your Sanklai block uppercut is way more higher than Semi Sana with 75% over 25%. This is because uh, as you can see in the video, your Sanklai had more attempt than Semi Sana uh, for uppercut but due to his uh, only single attack or his punches combo, Semi Sana easily predict it and easily to uh, defend it. So, uh, move to tip. Uh, tip is uh, usually is hard in kickboxing, but for this match, uh, tip for Semi Sana has 55.6% more than Yok Sang Klan. With only 44.4, this shown that height still matter. Uh, it give more advantage to Semi Sana to attempt more tip to Yot Sang Klai. So, lastly, for low kicks, the only thing that uh, Yot Sang Klai manage to get uh, more percentage than Semi Sana with 58.3% uh, over 41.7%. This is because uh, Yot Sang Klai is small and we known that he's a fast, uh, have a fast movement. Uh, he, so he has fast movement, uh, fast than Semi Sana. So as you can see, this is the graph bar of performance indicator of the total three rounds. As you can see, the highest, uh, the highest performance indicator in these uh, three rounds between Semi Sana and Yot Sang Klai is attack, attack on combination. So the combo is main uh, number and high number in performance indicator all of, uh, in all of 10. So you can see uh, 37 and 30 by Semi Sana and Yot Sang Klai. The lowest uh, number is four and five, only four and five tips by two athletes because this is a hard, uh, hard technique to do. So and the only number that they managed to get even is a uh, block kick. It's 15 over 15 kick. So that's all from me. So the third part of notational analysis is sequential data system. Basically, we will divide the ring into 9 segments and will determine the sequence of the athlete. The performance indicator of for this is successful kick. It will be plotted as X in the diagram. So, as you can see, round 1, both fighters started the round with testing each other ability at the middle of the ring. That is segment E. So, Sana successfully give first kick at segment E and in this round, Sana managed to land 5 successful kick in this round. For second round, Sana only managed to kick uh, to successful kick uh, only once. This round, it is because he more focused into using hand for attack the opponent. For round 3, uh, he managed to successfully kick two times at segment E and one powerful kick landed at segment D. So, this is the sequence.
for round one uh the first kick landed is segment e and then also segment e and and then uh sana uh went to segment f and then a the last one is d for this round the second round the only kick that sana successfully done is in segment e and in the third round he managed to kick at two segment that is e and d thank you so for the conclusion Sami Sana has earned his unanimous decision victory over Yot Sanklai Iwe Fertex in one championship inter the Dragon competition. As we know, Sami Sana has won three time Muay Thai and Kickboxing World Championship. Uh, and Yot Sanklai Iwe Fertex has won for the multiple time Muay Thai World Championship. So, for this competition, Sana has shown good performance against his opponent with Semi Sana has more chance in attacking his opponent. So, uh, Semi Sana has attacked more at the first and third round. Uh, second round, uh, San Klai attacked more but Sana can control the game well. So the next one is Sana was comfortable to attack his opponent at the ring center because most of the victorious combination landed in the three rounds. So most of the combination of upper cut, lower cut, uh, and the others uh, was at the ring center uh, and the last one is most of the combo happen at the corner and rope side where his opponent might have it uh, when the sana has has do a com combo at the ring center the your sun player will go uh, will feel hurt and go to the uh, what we call uh, at the corner at rope side because of the because he hurt so uh, sana continue do a combination to win the competition so that's all for the conclusion thank you